Uh, give me your, your camera and I'll take a photo of you. Looks like a copperhead. Yeah, those I don't like. Maybe it'll jump up and be the first thing. Nah, it's too small. That one's not. You don't have to worry about that one. That one will stay all the way. Oh, that's right, you did. But I'll take pictures and give them to you, Mommy. So she'll have plenty of pictures of you. Yeah, it's, that's just, yeah. It's still, that's a copperhead right there. Don't fall over. Well, how come it won't go away? You know what I'm saying? You didn't go by itself? see if they're out of focus. Whatever ones are out of focus, I'll just Oh, it won't mess with you. Here's something. We're a lot bigger. If it was a cotton mouth, it would try to get on the boat. Does it have it? That's enough for me. Yep, that's it. They're cheap. Darker because it's in the water. Something like that, you probably you probably need a little bit of time to get over the bite of something like that. It would kill you, but it definitely would hurt. Cottonmouth will kill you if you don't get it. Cottonmouth. Yeah, we got mouths, like, I live in Dallas, it's pretty like sick. Oh, yeah, they're. But we have like a little, uh, like a street called Vine, like right out. I was at a little bit. You have there. Yeah, they can do it. Isn't it pretty, Vera? Is it the lake pretty? but the little ones don't know how to stop envenomating and they'll just drain their venom gland. Sit over there in the shade. So they'll feel it. Uh, it's, it's more likely to get a harmful dose from an uh, infant snake than it is from an oral.